A quick video to show you some of my uh, favorite things when it comes to the workshop. Um, you'll see here uh, my lathe. I talk a fair bit about my lathe through the process of building the submarine and it does all sorts of things. It faces plastic, it uh, cuts metal, it, it enables me to fabricate so many things. As you can see here I'm in the process of lining up a piece of perspex that I've drilled a, a pilot hole into and uh, I'm going to bore that out. There are simply so many things you can make with a lathe. The issue uh, I'm aware of is that when I first began uh, as an adult, I, when I first left school, um, I did a fitting and turning apprenticeship, so I do have a head start in relation to this. But lathes are not that difficult. I mean, 90% of the time I don't even change the rotational speed on this. They do have to be treated with enormous respect though, and, and I'd suggest if you haven't had a lathe before and you're interested in buying one, go for one that's small like this because it's perfect for hobbies. Um, get some advice, talk to people that have them, make sure that you don't do anything silly because very simply you can um, do some serious damage to yourself, even with a small lathe like this. So, you know, you need to not wear a tie. That's the classic first one. Make sure you don't put, your, you know, any parts of your body on anything that's swinging and rotating. But apart from that, you treat it with respect and you can do endless things with, with lathes. I mean, I very seldom use the power feed. I never use screw cutting because I've got uh, taps. But I can drill holes accurately and then I can put taps through uh, perfectly square by using the um, by using the tail stop. So there's endless things that you can do uh, and make your work um, really accurate and nice. Um, and all I've got to say is really think about it. It's, it's a great option. Here I'm about to face off a piece of plastic for something that I'm going to make. So instead of using a mill you can do that. Now I'm just quickly showing you now my tugboat which was rammed into a cliff face by a friend who had no clue what he was doing. In repairing this um, I used aluminium flashing, one mil aluminium flashing of which I have a, a supply. I, found, I find it's marvelous for modeling. And um, what you can do with it is, uh, I mean, for example, using a little pinking wheel uh, like this, I can put on rivets and it looks fantastic. Of course, because it's metal, it looks like metal in the finish. And, and of course, you can roll it out with a rolling pin and make it flat again. This is the um, going to be the side of the boat and some slots, some water slots. Now I'm showing you uh, a hot wire. Um, contraption that I made. All you need um, is some resistance wire and 6 volt battery will do and you can cut foam beautifully. None of these things ended up in the boat mind you but you can see how it all works. Easily cuts foam very nicely and you can even make uh, this this cutter for example is you, you can make any shape with the wire as long as you hold it still and you can make whatever you like very easy to use. You can see that. Another thing that I've liked to use particularly with the trim has been uh, this expanding foam. You, you just push the, the little knob and out comes lovely foam. It expands to four times its size. You've got to be careful of it. But as you can see, if you use judiciously glad wrap, you can make anything. Now I've just put a little patch of this in the stern of the boat to help with the trim. And now I'm making uh, a particular piece which is very important uh, for the trim of the boat. And even now, here it is, this is the finished item. That fits beautifully, holds some wires in place, easy to make, easy to do. And I've found this has been just terrific stuff. The Dremel. Um, who can ever say anything about a Dremel? It's just the most magnificent tool. I'm just showing you one thing here that I've used it for. The cutoff wheel is brilliant for cutting anything that's fine. It's just great. Low risk, low damage, great tool. Um, perspex, great stuff. You can mark it, see through it, tap it as you can see. 
great for constructing things in models. You can see right through it, see what's going on underneath, and you can make really complex items like this. The power saw, I'll just stop for a moment here, the power saw has a tungsten blade. I use it all the time for cutting all sorts of things, including perspex. And here I've just cut up some pieces to make what's going to be a waterproof box. Hot glue is fantastic. I, this hasn't ended up in the boat by any means, but you make things waterproof, you hold wires in place, you do all sorts of things by using hot glue. This is a really nice idea, but of course the DIN plug will rust no matter what you do, so you're not going to use that underwater. A cross slide uh, with a drill pedestal is just brilliant. You can make things so accurate using this, and it's, a, it's just a great addition, and they're not expensive. You need a lot of drills. These drills are fairly inexpensive, but there's such a variety there. When you have a good set of drills that you can drill the pilots with and so on, you can finish a hole to almost any dimension when you've got a nice pile of them. And here uh, is silver solder. Um, I use silver solder all the time. It just makes, uh, it makes life so easy and, and you can... It takes a bit of practice to get it right. And you make a few mistakes, I think, along the way, but um, it's, it's worth it. I'm just using some stainless steel welding wire for that construction just there. And finally, carbog. Who could go wrong with carbog? I want you to notice that one of the, the tool I'm using here is the tool that, one of the tools that you use for panel beading. It's just great. It's a nice flat surface. You pick up all the high bits, flatten them out with a tool like this. I think um, anything to do with panel beating, Fixing cars is great for models. Can't go wrong. And Bog is terrific. Um, I think I finished. Uh, that's sort of covered what I wanted to show you. So um, there you go. Bye.